Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm MechaMac. This is Let's Play CrossCode. Last time, we found out what Schneider's room looks like. He does not keep it very tidy. But more importantly, we found out that we do have hope of escaping this wasteland. Should we, uh... Should we find our way through the tower? Then I should not have jumped down a... Oh well. Should we find our way through the tower, then there's a way that our mission control, who I forget the name of, can get us out of here. But in order to do that, we have to actually get to the tower, and since it's guarded by lots of people, it'll take a bit of doing. Uh, speaking of doing, finding my way to the actual entrance is proving it. It's already a minute and a half and I haven't even gotten to the tower yet. I really should have started out there, shouldn't I? You're a jerk and I'd like to hit you, but then they'll just shoot atomic cannons at me and I don't want that. Alright, now we have to get through there, undetected. There's supposed to be a door up there we can enter. Let's go separately. It's probably easier to stay hidden that way. Wait. Huh? Do you want to go ahead? Hmm, good thinking. You're rather small, they'd have a hard time spotting you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright then, you go ahead. I've got your back. So he turns up, the fire ones turn down. Ooh. I hope they can't see through boxes. I may have gone the wrong way actually. over here. And here. Okay, so they can't see through those boxes. Ew, that was close. So many of them out there. Well then, let's take that elevate. I don't think I saved. There's supposed to be more guards down here. Stay on your toes. Wait. Nick through. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I get it. Then make it really quick. Okay, what does this give me? Hmm. 
Hmm, this is the only way, isn't it? I think there's something in this room. I can see an ice and a fire pattern. Now this terminal is almost too conveniently placed, don't you agree? I totally saw that one coming. I like how they actually introduced Schneider into this play. He's got a... Um, he's not just trivializing the puzzles because it, he's very important for taking these guys out and as soon as possible. The AI for the party members isn't smart enough to handle most of it. Kill it if you want to. Finally. Alright, another elevator. Let's hope that one goes up. Looking good. Wait, we're back at the entrance? Hmm, maybe we find a route by walking over these roofs. Oh. Well, that didn't work. Should we cancel the sneaking? Fine, let's not wait too long, okay? Yeah! Oh! Oh! I've already got all the chests! Silly me. Alright, let's continue from where we left off. So they can actually see up these buildings. So don't pass in front of them. It's only if there's something like a... Like it's only... Ah. You guys can tell what the thing is about these. Okay, seems like we're getting closer. I wish I could take a proper aim. One shield down. shields. Three shields. 
And we just stirred someone up, apparently. Yeah. Oh no! I have to do it again. Shields. Third shield. Schneider. <laughs> we did it, didn't we? Okay, let's see if we can access the tower from here. It's entirely empty. What a strange way to prioritize security. Well then, nothing's stopping us here. Let's enter the tower. I just want to double check here. I don't think they'd hide chests where we can't get at them, but still. Don't you remember those guards lining up right at the entrance? We better avoid running into them. So this is it. Hmm. Gotta be honest, I have a bad feeling about this. Why? Um, the way we managed to get past all those guards, doesn't it almost feel intentional? Like they want us to get through here? It's not like we have any other option, right? Let's enter and see what happens. I really should have saved. Hey, this looks like a dungeon. It, oh. Why? How? Why? Lee, please calm down. The interior of this tower is instanced. That's why Lucas isn't here. It's like a dungeon. Don't worry, I have a plan. If things go well, I can get you both out of this. We just have to break a few rules. And walls. I need a bit of time to prepare things. I have to reach Lucas. Somehow. Meanwhile, I need you to move on to the next room to the north. Okay, so... This is a dungeon that I have not actually seen before. There's no chests, but there is time to save. Oh, I see. I get it. Just a matter of timing. Now we do it the other way. <laughs> so to speak. Only this one we have to time it so that it happens before it turns back. Okay, this works. Alright, this looks good. Next you need to move towards the west. Why? Just trust me on this for now. Yeah, this is just timing, really. Okay, you're at the right position now, Lee. Just need a little bit longer to manage things on my side. Meanwhile, you can take care of the enemies in the room. Oh. Oh, now I have to fight these things without Lucas.
Oh, fantastic. Okay, note to self, immediately swap circuit. Well, okay. Hi? Just a moment, please. Perfect, we're very lucky. I got Lucas at just the right position, he seems to be waiting for us. Now we just have to meet up with him by breaking through the dungeon room instances. Just follow my instructions, I'll spawn an exit point. Try interacting with the symbol. Oh, whoops. Why? Sorry, I must have made a little mistake here. Let me go over the parameters again. Okay, I think I got it. Please try again. Okay, first of all, what I want to do is I want to swap this over because I need a stronger. Yeah, I need a strong melee attack. I don't need AoE at this point. In fact, now that I think about it, I want to swap this over as well. Um, alright, forgot about that thing. Sorry Lee, we need to make one more attempt. In my defense, this whole routine is experimental. Hmm. Okay, this should do it. Hopefully. Take off. Oh. Oh! Oh my. It worked! Sort of. Lee, we just jumped to another room instance. Dungeon instances work on a room by room basis. All room instances are placed within a massive compound. What we will do is jump between these instances till we reach the room Lucas is in, and then escape the compound. Strange as it sounds, it's our best chance to get out of this place. Okay, let me see. The next exit point should be here. Yes, it has to be on that side of the room. Sorry. By the way, it looks like you should be able to reach that point. Okay, what's the puzzle here? Oh, wait, 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 I think I know. Ah, that's clever, actually. So yeah, something that was in the beta, but isn't at the moment, uh, to say, is that um, there's a dungeon that fuses the wave and shock elements, but there wasn't one that fuses uh, hang on. Oh, alright. There's an instance that fuses shock and element, but there wasn't one for wave and cold. Well, here it is. Boom! Nice landing. Next exit is down over there. We can just ignore the puzzle in this room. Well, okay, but I hope there's a version of this that actually works.
Oh, well, we should take care of those first. like I wanted it to. You rotten little. They keep leeching my face. Wait, Lee! This time we'll exit through the wall to the east. Boom! Whoops. Why? Sorry, I forgot to fix the routine for sideways jumps. How? Anyway, should work now, promise. Please try again. Oh, it certainly worked. Alright, that worked. Okay, where was next again? Help me. Please. Help me. Hi? What? What the heck is this? Oh boy. There you are. This was certainly not meant to be seen by the likes of you. In this tower you shall abide to the constraints laid in front of you. Not break through the walls as you please. We won't tolerate behavior like this. Your little journey ends now. Shoot. He found out sooner than I'd hoped. Lee, you can't be caught up in one of his battles. We have to escape. Run to the next symbol as fast as possible. So now we have to make sure that you need to reach the other side of this room, to the east! Well, if you're going to use heat elements, then I'm going to perfect uh, against it. Oh, uh -huh. You are not stopping me, but I'm. I really want to know what happened back there, but further east, you need to reach the wall. Uh, 
Uh. Well, on the upside, at least these guys aren't particularly strong. I mean, their level and health is massive, but... Almost there, to the east. Oh. Hello. That was quite predictable. We have a good idea of where you're heading. Damn it. Lucas, he's in the room to the east. We have to reach the wall. We can't have you meet up with your friend. This place is designed for an individual, after all. If your hopes are to escape this place, your journey is destined to fail. An exit does not exist. That's what he thinks, anyway. I'll get you out of here, trust me. Also, watching you twirling through this complex, it is quite entertaining, to say the least. This resourcefulness. It is unlike anything we've been in it so far. Hence, we shall honour it with an appropriate climax. Oh. It shall be your final challenge. Let's see if you can overcome the nigh impossible. Lee, whatever happens, don't give up. We have to get through this. Okay, what's this? Gastropolis. A uh, massive health pool. And fire, fire. Okay, I think I. Oh, I see. Okay, we can't attack the shell, actually. Oh! Ice trail. Thanks. Lee, this enemy, its maximum HP is ridiculously high. Trillion, quadrillion... I'm not even sure how to save this number. Also, was that pause me, or did anyone else get that? However, it's not infinite. That means it's possible to defeat it. There's just one thing we have to do. Adjust your attack appropriately. I just figured out a way to do that within the security constraints. Focus on defeating the burning slug enemies before they explode. Okay. Defeat them before they explode. As many as possible. Ow, ow, ow! Okay, make sure I have that. Once again, you got a little trick up your sleeves. Alas, but it is a drop in the ocean. We just keep going. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Look at those numbers! Okay, fire, so... Yeah. Intriguing. We'll see where this is going, but we won't let you have your way that easily. Now, how long can you keep this up? Lee, keep, just keep dodging. I got this. I'm almost there. Just a bit longer. Uh, honestly, I could probably just outstat this, but... And go! Quick to the marker! Oh, <laughs> that might have been a mistake, mate. What? Time to demonstrate exponential growth. Ah! 
Actually, you know what? Uh, cold. We're gonna sneak up behind him. Cold. Yeah, this was in the trailer. I was wondering what it was going to be about, but... Okay, cold. And then get ready because he is going to do that. And that. <laughs> they don't even get a chance to... <laughs> okay. No, impossible. This is about to be overcome. Now then, you let me break this. Uh huh. Then I remember he's going to do the jump and jump. Goodbye. This is too rich. Nelly, quickly! Lee is on her way. Wait here. Lee? Did, did, did you just break through that wall? Okay. Well, somebody told me to wait here for you. I think. <laughs> yeah. How did you even get here, though? I thought this place was instanced. Yeah, we kind of broke that. And. If you look, he's actually got the shock and wave version of this room, which is interesting. Lee, we have to hurry. Both of you need to take the next exit point now. It will be your last jump. What's with that sign over there? Should we go there? Okay. Wait, what? What? No, oh, just go this! Did we just literally break the wall wall or something? Lee, there's no time. Quick, take the elevator. Elevator, we're right. Where are we? Is this even still the playground? Lee, please hurry. Run towards the sea. Someone will pick you up. This way, you sure? Lee? Lee, I can't move. Why? No matter what I do, I, I just can't move. Why? Is this some sort of bug or something? 
Why? Lee, please, this won't go anywhere. Somebody must know their way around here. Makes us wonder who exactly is leading the way. Alas, this is as far as you'll be going. Your friend is now under our full control. We disabled his movement. He can be relocated at will, shall it be required. Why? You leave us no choice. His very fate rests in our hands. If his well-being is of your concern, you'd be wise to obey and stop this escape at once. Why? Lee. Get away already! There's no point in waiting for me! Run! Lee. There's nothing I can do about Lucas. I'm sorry. We have to escape on our own. It's our only option left. Why? Run already! Go! Stop right there! You keep pursuing this fruitless endeavor. There's no escape from this place, not for avatars like you. We'll see about that. Oh! It's still not very explosion proof, I see. I'm here to fetch the lass. No, not you again! Why did you wrap her in a blanket? She's an avatar, she shouldn't feel cold or anything like that. She just looks like she needed this, so alright, stop nagging. Lee, my girl, you're back! Hi. Poor thing, you look like you've been through hell. You too, we'd like to talk with to the last in private. Hi, Captain. Sergey, you've got some explaining to do. What in the bloody hell has been going on with you two? Ending up in that place and all. Yes, it's about time I tell you everything I know. But first, let me apologize to you, Lee. I deceived you, telling you this lie about yourself and your past. Why? I just thought it would be for the best. But in all honesty, I didn't know what to do. Why? It's because of what you are. Shizuka, she was right. You are an artificial intelligence. More precisely, you are what Satoshi liked to call an Evotar. Let me start from the beginning. It all started several years ago. At a time when we were all still employees and employed by Entertainment. Satoshi, he was one of the head software engineers for Crossworlds. He was responsible for implementing the Avatar controlling module. You see, since Avatars are controlled with a mere thought, this part was one of the most complex and difficult to get right. Yet Satoshi, he was succeeded in creating a reliable connection. He developed a neural network analyzing the player's neural oscillation. After just a short learning phase, it allowed for controlling your avatar like it was your own body. It was a technological masterpiece called the Cross Code. Roll credits. After some time though, Satoshi discovered something new. The cross code went beyond just analyzing players' thoughts to control avatars. Using the same neural network as a foundation, it was possible to entirely simulate features of the brain. Perception, logical thinking, emotions, even memories. Before you knew it, the cross code evolved into a fully fledged AI, and it could run an avatar without the player, the so-called Evotar. So yes, that is what you are, Lee, an Evotar based on Shizuka. Your personality and memories are a copy of hers. And that's also why I didn't want you to tell you the truth. Back in the day, Satoshi discovered that Evotars had tr problems handling the truth about themselves. To have the memories of your human self and discover you are actually an AI? It's a massive emotional shock that the system usually couldn't handle, leading to permanent malfunction. Fortunately, that didn't happen to you. 
It seems you accepted the truth. Again, I'm sorry for all of this. Things might have been easy if I told you right away, or it could have been an early end to everything. I just could not know what happened, so I tried to, care to be careful to minimize the risk. So wait, did you actually tell her the coma story? Yes. Seriously? I told you that one would be too dramatic. It was the most logical option, though. Really now? Did I understand that right, Sergei? These, there are these Evotars and Crossworlds, and they copy the personality and memories of players. That's the other thing. There really shouldn't be any Evotars and Crossworlds at all. Satoshi was very excited by his discovery. He pitched his findings to the higher-ups, hoping to develop a fully autonomous AI based on cross-code. However, Instatainment was far less enthusiastic about it. Their priorities were clear, it was only about controlling avatars. Any additional functionality, especially the copying of memories, was unwanted. They immediately blocked any effort going into developing evotars. Satoshi, he was deeply frustrated by this. Soon afterwards, Satoshi, Shizuka, and Gotham, all three of them, left the company. All I know is they somehow found someone that supported their continued research on Evotars. They even wanted me to join them, but I declined. The whole endeavor seemed very risky to me. Anyway, it wasn't long afterwards I entirely lost contact with them. I haven't heard from them for years. That was until recently when I discovered Lee hidden within the game's database. And that's how the whole thing started. I took some time off from work and logged Lee into the game, looking for answers. I know as much. So how did you end him up in that place? Well, that's where things started to become strange. We were pulled into an area that was not supposed to be part of the official playground, Vermilion Wasteland. Gotham and Shizuka, they were both there. There was this masked person we saw on the last day, but Satoshi, he was nowhere to be found. We were close, really close to the answers. Yet, we couldn't afford to stay there. It's too dangerous. How come? Someone with administrative access in that, to that area was tracking my connection. They tried to locate me, and almost succeeded. I just barely escaped it by minimizing communication with Leah over the last few days. In the end, we just had to escape. I see. Man, that really is a lot to take in, you know. How about we take a little break? Lee, maybe stroll around the ship would help you loosen up a bit? Surely there's no problem, right, Cap? I sure don't like you deciding that by yourself. But sure, it's alright. Great, then how about I show Lee around a bit? Why am I not? Please, I'd like to have a little word with Sergei for a moment. Oh, how about you show Lee around a bit? Fine, follow me, Les. Carla, is something the matter? Mister, I got a question for you. Something the poor girl is probably working about. Yes? Once you find Satoshi and everything has been cleared up, what happens to her? Is that Carla ordering me around like that? I gotta remind her who's in charge on this ship sometime. Les, you seem to be in really low spirits. I have no time for strolling around right now. Um, Captain? Do you mind if I borrow Miss Avatar for a moment? No, that'd be just perfect. Please keep the last busy. Nice! Please come this way, Miss Avatar. This is great! I never expected to see you on this ship again, Miss Avatar. Lee. Huh? You want me to call you by your first name? Sh sure! Anyway, I'll go ahead and get everyone together. Just meet me outside on the deck. Finally, we can do the experiment! That guy again. Oh wait. Uh, okay. Need to check that again. 
That guy again. My colleague should be waiting on the deck for you. I'm supposed to wait up here. Why? Well, you see, they have a lot of things planned. Sorry in advance. Does he mean this deck? No. But oh, this is actually a good time to stop because we have gone way over time. I didn't realize that the tower would lead for so long. Until then, take care guys. I'll see you all around.